the sacraments bring us into an extraordinary story, which is the story of humanity's love affair with God. There are seven specific ways where we can go and receive God's grace. That's God's life given to us, communicated to us, so that we might have that fullness of life here and now. I need the assurance that Christ is here, that he loves me that I am loved even when I don't feel loved by my family or my parents are split up or my, my boyfriend's left me, my spouse has left me. I need this assurance that God gives me through these sacraments that He's here and that He loves me. We're meeting with Father Stephen Wang. He's a priest in the Westminster Diocese and currently the Dean of Studies at the Allen Hall Seminary in Chelsea. When we're baptised, there is more for God to love. There is more within us. Because through baptism, we're transformed. We become um, a child of God. We, we, we are united with Jesus Christ. We're filled with the Holy Spirit. So when God the Father looks at the baptised person, um, he, he sees the face of Jesus Christ and, and the, the innocence and the beauty of a transformed soul. I can't remember my baptism. Um, it was a long time ago in the northeast of England. But I'm reminded uh, of my baptism every Easter at the Easter Vigil. And now as an adult, I'm trying to live out my faith, trying to live out my baptism. I'm actually really thankful for the decision that was made for, you know, for me before I can even remember the faith of my parents and godparents and the parish community is ultimately the reason that I'm here and that I'm able to live out a Christian lifestyle as a 25 year old here in London. I feel very much that my journey through confirmation and, and really declaring for myself that I would walk this life with Christ um, is, is a key part of who I am and why I do what I do today. I'm here because I think it's an important step to take as a Christian. I think it will help me be closer to God as well. I'm going to be more relaxed and feel more confident in myself because God will always be at my side. He's always there and he's the only person that you can always trust. What really matters is our, is our faith. And so I hope and I, I believe and I pray that, that when you look back on your confirmation, you can say, I believe that the Lord was working powerfully there. I have faith, I, I, trust, I trust the Lord, I trust the church, I trust God's power to work in my life, and I know that he is working in my heart and my soul and my life, even when I can't see or feel exactly what he's doing. The environment is one of the poorest in the country, really. Hopefully, I'll stay with them forever and give them peace of mind and strength to carry on with whatever life throws at them. I was brought up Catholic, or 
always went to church every Sunday. Never took an interest in it. I literally just went because I had to go. I was starting to, in that time of my life, just experiment with, you know, alcohol. And then alcohol led on to drugs. Started off recreationally and then just more and more and more. To the point where I became addicted to the drugs I was taking. I found God and it completely blew me away. I got confirmed at the age of 14 and didn't take it seriously whatsoever. Six years later, I unwrapped my confirmation and I wish I'd taken my confirmation a lot more seriously and I probably would have found God sooner. The biggest crisis in the history of humanity was the time when we decided to murder love. God came to us in perfect love and we decided that we would kill him. But faced with this terrible end, uh, Jesus took bread and broke it and said, this is my body and I give it to you. You know, we have a daughter with a disability. I have a daughter who has a mental illness. And whenever the times were very difficult, all I ever wanted to do was go to, to Mass. I mean, we go every Sunday anyway, but I'll, I'll be clinging even more, knowing that that's what will get me through the deepest, darkest moments, is when I'm with God, then I will be able to, to, to get through those times. Receiving the body and blood of Christ after Jimmy died, just took on such a significance for me. I believe my son is with Jesus. I believe that from my heart. And on a Sunday or when I go to Mass, I receive the body and blood of Jesus. And if I receive the body and blood of Jesus and I believe that, and I believe my son is with Jesus, then to me, that's where I connect with Jimmy. That is where I connect with Jimmy in a most powerful and profound way.